going to be a lot shallower divot on a long iron than a pitching wedge. Oh, okay, that's good to know. There you go. Do the same little adjustments and try to swing a high draw. I think you're going to hit it amazing today. See ya. Jesus Christ. Have Dang. A great day. <laughs> good stuff. You're doing so good, man. back on another day on this journey from scratch to scratch where I start from scratch completely nothing to try to become a scratch golfer by every means possible. If you are new here, I am just coming back from my first ever par 72 course, finished it at Riverwalk, and man, I was one stroke away from breaking 90 my first ever time. But after analyzing the data, realized a lot of the strokes that I lost was from my long iron. So we are back with our Hall of Fame coach and primary full swing coach, Chris Mila, in order to go over long irons and definitely stay until the end where he talks about one small detail you should be doing with your long irons and not your short irons. So without wasting time, let's get into it. I just want to talk about the five, six. Yeah. These, are, these are the things that caused me to, to gain a lot of strokes yesterday. Yeah. Because um, I'm still trying to get this, the thing that we're talking about. Okay. And right now, I don't, uh, I don't know if I'm doing right with a five because it feels a little like longer and all this other stuff. Oh, God. Okay. A little miss hit, but straight. Wow. How was that? Felt a little better. I'm like chunking it. That, that happened a lot yesterday. It's a lot of turf. Yeah, a lot of turf. I feel like sometimes I'm just getting stuck uh -huh. and then getting there, so. Yeah. You get some of those? Yeah, so yeah. That, those are the, the three things that kind of cause my. Okay. So what would you do if I told you to take a practice swing to hit a big drop? I would kind of bring it farther back here. Okay. And then just go out there. And because like I'm kind of uncomfortable right now, I'm like rushing it a lot. This is a longer golf club. Yeah. More anticipation. Yeah. More speed. Mm -hmm. So you do have to feel more of this like high, bigger draw on this club. And I'd like you to just try to smooth it out from the top. Okay. I think you'll swing much better with those clubs and you'll hit it. You'll hit it fine here in just a minute. Okay. Yeah. The other thing, when you get set up, just try to open the club face a little bit at setup. You're like fighting a slightly closed face. Okay. Okay. So, and you were too, you were just swinging more like slightly out here. So get it open and then try to hit a draw. Okay. Yeah. Got it's it. just, it's subtle. It's like, just like right there. Okay. You're like here. Yeah. Yeah. So there, inside, and then the draw. Okay, not bad. Let's try that again. Feel a little smoother? Yeah, a little bit. So your tendency is you're slightly closed and you get the ball pretty close to the heel. Mm. So you're gonna react to that. This is the last swing. Face is more square. There's the better turn. You see where the club's at here? Yeah. Now we're trying to come from the inside, so that's much better right there. Yeah, that's much better. See how clean that is right there? Yeah. So if we go back one swing or two swings before, so there's your closed face and on the heel. You see that? Oh, God, yeah. You see that's on the heel and it's slightly closed? Yeah. Okay, and then you weren't trying to swing from the inside or here, so there was less turn. And then see how far outside the ball it is there? Yeah. Right there, it's down and across. See your hands disappear right there? So that looks like you're gonna hit it 100 yards to the left. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out that motion when we were going like the, kind of get in here. Uh-huh. And so that, that's kind of like the feel. But that's the same, so that's the feel I have for the shorter club, and I hit it fine, but I, when it's a long, longer club for me, it's can kind of jammed and I'm just kind of like. Yeah, well you can be yeah. steeper on a short iron, you can't be steep on a long club. Okay. Yeah, so that's gotcha. at the bottom of the arc, you gotta sweep it better, that's why it, that's more important. So you, for you right now, if you just set up with your iron, do the same little adjustments and try to swing a high draw, yeah. I think you're gonna hit it amazing today. Okay. Yeah, Can you go back to this one. This is an awesome golf swing. Yeah, yeah. You'll be shooting par before you know it if you hit. Dude, uh, <laughs> 200 yard five irons, pretty straight. It's pretty good for right now. Yeah, that's yeah. what I kind of want. Averaging over 300 yards yesterday. Yeah, the the shortest one was 299. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, and then I hit one sick one, where it carried 300, uh -huh. and then it 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 bounced the hill and went like 320. So I was oh like, oh my god. 
I was like, man, this is... That's fun. It's way more fun. It's way I more do that. fun, yeah. I hope I could replicate it tomorrow, but I don't know. We'll see. For these ones, I should just make sure I'm hitting a draw, like, mm -hmm. like a big draw and have this a little more... Yeah, you don't have to overdo it any more than the last swing you did. Okay. Yeah. And then keep this a little more yeah, just open. Try it. See if you can get the face slightly open to what you're doing before. Because again, is... if you're shut, you're going to react to it being shut. Yes. If you're on the heel, you're going to react to being on the heel. So you're going to do something that does like that. Yeah. Right? So that's no good. Or you're going to, for you, you're swinging that direction. Yeah. So we want to pick this clean off the ground too, right? Are yeah. we going to have as big a divot on this one or are we going to pick it clean? Wait, you don't want this divot on big long irons? No, it's going to be a lot shallower divot on a long iron than a pitching wedge. Oh, okay. That's good to know. I'm you trying to hit as... I, I just, yeah, I have that problem. I just try to hit everything the same. Oh, okay. More or less, so... Wow, it comes a little more smoothly out. Look at your path on this last one. Yeah. Remember, don't overdo it, just feeling the draw. That's, that's right on plane. See that? See how you didn't like, take a huge divot there? Yeah, okay, that's... That wasn't your path a minute ago, right? Yeah, that, I, I think that the feel of the bigger draw lets me not get stuck so easy. Okay. Because I'm like, yeah, okay. Let me see if I could do that again. Oh yeah, I keep getting closed. <laughs> mm, a little thin. Yeah, that's okay. So were you working on the hips or were you working on the big draw there? I was kind of just thinking about this. I wasn't really thinking about anything. Oh, okay. It's a little smoother and not as rushed from the top. Mm -hmm. You're good. Okay, let's see. Like try to hit a high draw and take five yards off it. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> you feel the face want to close? Every single time. Yeah. Might have been a little scoopy still. Does it, so in that case, do we just keep like going? So keep this back just a little longer and see how that's still loaded right here? Yeah. That's where you want to be at this point. So you're like a little bit more over here mm. and a little bit more over here. So by the time you get to impact, because you're here, you're going to be just slightly like that. You see that released? Yeah. So in a better you'd be here, here, there's your impact. Now we have golfer's handshake in the face right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try. How's contact there? It's dead straight in the middle. <laughs> slightly open? A little bit. Okay. So the firing sequence from the top to me is still the head and upper body pushed forward pretty hard right there, right? And then you're still releasing that just a little too early. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to like figure out the release because like, if I don't, I'm strained here. Mm -hmm. If I don't release it, um, yeah, so like, should I like feel like pulling it down? If this goes over here too soon, yeah, that's the first problem. Yep. So this needs to stay right on top there. Yeah. I feel like you delay that coming as you unwind. You're unwinding, you're under, your head's staying right there. That's still right there, all yeah. the way to there. You see that? Mm -hmm. So then now the release, how are we there? Mm, okay. And now we're there, right? Yeah. But none of that matters if we go here first. You're going to have to catch up to being way over there. So the catch up is that. Okay. Does yeah. That make sense? I, yeah, I think I'm naturally going this because I felt me getting stuck here. But uh -huh. that's kind of, I should just like get this out of the way and stay here. Yeah, and keep the head on top. Okay, let me try to get just back. make sure my head's still. Solid. A little right. A little right. Head was much better. Impact was better too. Was it yeah. a head or was it? Eh. Yeah, you just didn't quite get the the head to, to release square. You were perfect here. Yeah. You're right here. You're slightly open. Yeah. And when you released, you only got to there. You didn't quite get to there. So, how did I get to there? It's just like, um, well, if we actually have this all the way down into here, mm -hmm. this right here happens later and more efficiently, right? Yeah. And before you were here and then there, right? So yeah. that's your way of squaring it up, but that's not the correct impact. Okay. Yeah. How's that? Oh, uh, it was okay. <laughs> just okay. <laughs> How did it look? 
<laughs> well, how, do you, how did it sound? <laughs> it's an interesting feeling. Yeah, look at that though. Much better than early release. Yeah, squared up a lot better. Okay, you hear the sound of that? Yeah. Really want to get to that though. <laughs> yeah. Well, if your head moves there, you can't do that. Yeah. So, get the head back and you get that loaded. Yeah, that's what you're timing. Did you do the stick drill a bunch? Yeah, I've only done it with um, 987s. Yeah, that's, that's, it... that's the only one to do it with. Yeah. It's kind of boring. Mm, I don't like it. <laughs> that was pretty good though. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I think the two things I need to think about um, is just my head and then the, the bigger draw for now. I'll just do that. I think I that's... Think you're going to have a great day tomorrow. <laughs> With these, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, let me try to do... Remember, two. that's a high anticipation club, so just, yeah. just swing the smoothest you can on that. If you have a four or five iron into a green tomorrow, you probably hit a much better shot than if you get quick and fast. You definitely... this This... And fast, you have no sense of feel down there. You, who knows what the face is going to look like. Yeah, and even if yeah. I don't hit my 210 for the 5, it's like slow and 190 is fine right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for your level right now, if you had a 5 iron anywhere around the green, it's probably a pretty good shot. Yeah. You just don't want to hit a crazy shot where it's like way right or way left. Yeah. I think like course management right now, and I think we could maybe like check the 3 wood like next time. Yeah. For, for the first time is just like... I'll get in that weird space that I was talking to you about where it's like 210 to 260. Okay. Where I'm like, I'm not gonna hit a driver here because yeah. I could bomb it. But if I had a five full, I could be 210. But I feel like if we got another club in there and learned. Yeah, do you, have, you don't have a hybrid, right? No, I can get one though. But like, I think you should get a hybrid. Okay. Yeah. Because then I don't or need a five wood. So I do driver, three wood, five wood. Okay. Um, but I've used hybrid for a, a long time too. So okay. maybe like a 21 degree. Okay, yeah. I'll get that. What's this. your three wood right now? Like 15? I, don't, I only touched the three wood twice in my okay. life. Okay. I mean, a hybrid's much easier to hit. Yeah, that's what I heard. Okay. Because I just don't yeah. want to go and 100%. That's, thir that's 13.5, so. Is that good? Or? Yeah, I think you get a probably a 21 degree hybrid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because right now, I, I just don't want to need to feel like I'm going like five iron. I'm like, I need to hit this to try to yeah. get on that green. Like, I feel like I get into two if I could. Um, that makes sense. Do that. And do yeah. one more? Yeah, one more. And You're swinging great. Yeah. Let's, wish have I... a good, let's have a good day tomorrow. I wish I hit it like this yesterday. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so same, same. So first five iron tomorrow. Let's see it right here. Yeah. S steady face. You still doing all our pre-shot routine stuff? Breathing, visualizing? Yeah. Planning? I have the same exact pre-shot routine as what we did. Um, I added the... Like I, I walk back and like look and then yeah. I come up. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. See ya. Jesus Christ. Have Dang. A great day. <laughs> good stuff. You're man. doing so good, man. You're yeah, doing so good. I love this one. Okay. Feel better? Yeah, I feel great, man. Okay, let me know how sleep. tomorrow goes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Looking, looking really good. So the, really so. the only three things here that I should really incorporate is um, let's just make my my club face like a bit bit open. Slightly open, yep, because it bit was open. closed. And then just feel the bigger Ideally draw. Ideally on the center too, because you're kind of on the heel. On the heel, yeah. yeah. And then a bigger draw, and then mm -hmm. just like focus that this is not going there. Right. And I should be Because then to... when you go there, you're going to do that with the hands to catch up. Yeah. Because if you're over here with a long iron, that thing is going to go right. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Awesome nice. Now. Boom. Let's go. Easy game. Easy game. Let's go. Let's go.